Hey guys, so I am starting this vlog. I am on my way to meet with somebody and get something, which you guys will see in a little bit. Um, also going to be doing a video with this somebody. So I will see you when I get there. Also, I need to go to the pet store. I'm gonna get groceries. Um, I need to get cat food at another store. So I'm just taking you guys along with me throughout this journey. I'll see you guys when we get there. Hey guys, so I just filmed a video with Erie Arachnids, um, David from Erie Arachnids. There is a semi truck parking next to me and I don't know what he's doing, but he's like not pulling up completely. I don't know if he's waiting for me to move, but I, I don't know. Anyway, so I just filmed a video with Erie Arachnids David um, and we did the question and answer. We did about 10 questions, I think it was, um, plus a few that he had asked me. And then uh, the main reason that I met with him was because I adopted his Scorp Scorps. Two Asian forest scorpions. This one is humongo compared to this one. So, he said this bigger one is kind of mean, but this one's sort of nice. Maybe I could hold. We'll see when I rehouse them when I get home. But yeah, that's the main reason that I met with him was to get these two Asian forest scorpions. They will actually be living together. So, I actually probably need to go to the Dollar Tree because um, I need to get like some, I would like to get like some moss or um, like fake plants and some rocks and stuff. Cause I feel like, you know, my spiders don't really care if the enclosures look nice, but I feel like it just gives a more natural environment, whether, you know, they like it or not. I mean, as long as they have some place to run and hide, I don't think they really care. But just for my own personal sake, I feel like I would like to like spruce up their enclosures a little bit. So I'm gonna go to the dollar store. Um, I have to go pick up a prescription from CVS. And I also ordered my groceries online at Walmart. So I'm going to be going and picking my groceries up. And I think that's really cool. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever, this is not sponsored at all, by the way, cause Lord knows I'm not famous enough to get a sponsorship. But anyway, so there is a Walmart grocery app and as long as you spend $30 or more, you can literally just put all your groceries in your cart, pay for it, pick a time, and then just pull up to Walmart and they'll load all your groceries into your car for you. Like they pick out all the groceries. You can choose like, say, I don't know, say you chose salt and vinegar chips or something and they don't have the specific brand that you put in your cart. Like you can choose that if you want that they can substitute that. And this so sounds like a sponsorship, but I swear it's not. I just think this is like super cool. But um, yeah, you can like choose what to be substituted, but like cat litter and stuff like that. Like there's certain things with like my cat litter and stuff like that that I just don't want to be substituted because um, you know, like my cat doesn't like the the thicker litter because it hurts her toes so i have to get the thin litter the kind that's almost like sand um so and they were out of the kind that i normally get so i had to get some sort of scoopables kind which is a cheaper brand but it does work and she doesn't poop other places because it's okay and by the way my eyelashes and stuff i uh, i don't have any makeup on because i'm giving myself fake eyelash extensions well, not fake eyelash extensions. I'm giving myself real eyelash extensions, but they're fake eyelashes that are going to be on myself. So that's why I don't have any makeup on right now because in my groceries, I have the eyelash stuff that I will be cutting up and gluing onto my face because I don't like to be wearing makeup a lot lately and that just makes me look put together without putting anything on my face. So um, anyway, I'm going to head out to the... I don't know where I'll go. I'll probably go to the pet store in the Dollar Tree first because I don't have to pick up my groceries for like another two to three hours. So I'll go do that. Um, I just need to move out of the semi truck's way. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, bye. Okay guys, so I just picked up my groceries um, and I pulled off to away from the pickup side. So I am just in the parking lot of Walmart right now. I just stopped at Petco and the Bub and Bees pet store to get crickets because Buzz and Bees was out of large ones so I had to go to Petco to get the large ones um, which Buzz and Bees is always my preference but 
Um, anyway, went to Petco and I was walking through trying to find the crickets. So I mean like I knew where the crickets were, but you know, trying to find them so that I had an excuse to look around at other stuff. So I am, somebody's watching me, this is strange. Okay, anyway, so I'm walking around and I, I'm like looking around at things and I pass somebody and he has a little Boston Terrier puppy so of course you know knowing me I had to stop and ask if I could pet the dog so I'm petting him and the guy goes do you work here and I'm like no I don't he's like oh okay well you look really familiar like do you come here a lot and I was like yeah I'm here all the time and he's like you have a dog too and I was like no I said I have spiders and his face lit up he goes that's where I know you from. You looked so familiar. I remember you. And I just, like, that was the coolest feeling that somebody, like, knew who I was because of my spiders. And, like, that's the reason that he remembered me. And he was like, you are in here all the time. He goes, I hear you talk about your spiders every once in a while. He goes, that's where I know you from. Like, you looked so familiar and I just thought that was like the coolest thing ever so I had to share that with you guys because that was like super cool anyway so I got my groceries in the back here I don't know if you can see all of my grocery stuff and and I'm going to be headed to pick up my prescription and then I'm probably going home so that I can oh actually I have to go to Target too but I'm gonna rehouse these little guys into their new home. They're so big. You're such a big guy. Yes, you are. You're so cute, though. I like you. I like you a lot. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, so, yeah, I'm going to check my groceries because I don't know what... Ooh. I want to make sure that some of the stuff that I got wasn't like substituted okay my bacon my lettuce my bread cheese milk oh yes this is what i was so concerned with guys this is panera bread's broccoli cheddar soup and i've been having like a thing for chicken tortilla lately and they also had a chicken tortilla and these were only like three dollars and fifty cents which is actually really good because i pay like six dollars when i go to panera bread and buy their soup from them milk cheese and my substitution was my ramen noodles but i mean we can live without the ramen noodles i've got chips oh i'm hungry we break into some of these chips. These are for my nachos. Mm. Party size ruffles. Should I break into them? Should I? Should I? Ugh. Oh, la, la, la. You guys. Mm. This is gonna be great. Struggling. Ugh. I haven't eaten anything all day. it's two o'clock now i've been running around i literally have not eaten anything all day i had a capri sun this morning for breakfast that's what i had a capri sun for breakfast I'm gonna go home, probably make a BLT. Although, my kind of BLT is no tomato and extra bacon because who would I be if I didn't eat it that way? Mm. <laughs> Just another vlog with Peyton. I need to go to Target. I'm gonna go to Target first because that's closer. I've literally done a big circle of nothing today. I mean, like, not nothing. I've done things, but I just feel like I'm circling and circling and circling. Also, at the pet store, at Buzz and Bee's pet store, 
Those are the crickets. I got these for my cat. These little mice. Because for some reason, she will only play with toys if they are shaped like a mouse. She's very spoiled. And, like, she likes the crinkly sound. But, like, I can get her, like, a crinkly sounding ball and she won't play with that. Like, it has to be the shape of a mouse or she won't play with it at all. So, anyway, off to Target. I go to Target. I'll see if I can vlog in there. Sometimes it's really awkward. Um, so, we'll see. I am going to be looking for a nice size container to put these guys in. Because I want something, like, short, like a shoe box but long does that make sense so we're gonna see what we can find because I have like a shoebox container at home but like I'd like something a little bit bigger if I can if not I will put them in there until I can find something bigger but ooh, somebody's calling me bye oh, hey guys so I just recently got home um it is late now it is almost 11 now I think um I had to take my boyfriend to his college well I picked him up from his college we had to do some stuff and then I took him back um I got my scorpion tank all set up which I really wish I would have filmed for you guys but unfortunately I did not um I did do my eyelash extensions that I was telling you guys about so I think those are pretty cool um they're supposed to last like two weeks anyway I'm gonna show you guys my scorpion setup and then I'm probably gonna head to bed end this vlog and I will publish the Q and A with David um, tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that, and we'll see you after that. All right, guys. So I have this big 20 quart um, clear Sterilite container. You open it up. I do have some feeder crickets in there for them right now. Um, I got these little pails for like 50 cents at Target. Um, there's some sticks in there kind of give them a little bit of a place to hide back here by the water dish. Um, they each have a place to hide. I did two hides just so they each have a place to get away from each other. They are living communally right now, which David said they've been living communally perfectly fine. Um, the ones in here, you can't really see her because it's really dark in this room right now. But this guy is the big guy. Really cool. I'm hoping to... Um, handle them a little bit and get them more used to handling so maybe I can get some more scorpion videos out for you guys because I know you guys were saying more scorpion videos more scorpion videos my one scorpion unfortunately passed away I don't know why he just never molted with me wouldn't really eat was always like afraid of the food which you guys saw, I very rarely ever got him to eat. So he just kind of passed away. Again, a purchase from Petco, so not my smartest move. But, you know, we all make mistakes. So yeah, I'm hoping to get more scorpion videos out for you guys because I know a lot of you are liking it. Those crickets are trying to drown themselves right now. Get out of there. And these guys can't really do too much harm to me anyway, even if they do sting or pinch me. So I'm going to try for you guys to do a little bit more. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this big 20-quart setup. It was perfect for what I wanted. It was short um, to avoid too much space where they could climb and fall. Um, also, it was long enough to provide a big enough area because a lot of the short ones weren't big enough in area wise um so yeah i'm going to go ahead and put them back kind of let them settle in hopefully they'll eat something i did put like four or five crickets in there so we'll see oh all right guys so i do have them all put away here i love this type of container um and i'm thinking about getting one for my pamphibedius platyoma because i just feel like she molted she was okay in the shoebox container, which is this guy here that she's in now. She was okay in this for a while, but she molted recently. I mean, not too recently, um, probably a couple months ago. Ooh, knocking things over. She molted a couple months ago, and ever since then, I just, like, haven't been comfortable in the enclosure size that she's in, but I really haven't found anything that 
I liked for a burrowing species. She does have her log that she's in. She hasn't burrowed really too much in there. Um, but then again, she doesn't really have a lot of space in there. So I think if I could get her something like this and put her log in there, fill it pretty much up to the top with the dirt, it's going to give her enough space to hide, but I'm still going to be able to see her a little bit because I like these short tubs because I know a big thing in the hobby is substrate, 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 which everybody says over and over again. My thing is, I feel like if they're comfortable in a hide and they're not digging, you give them enough substrate to dig where their back feet could touch the bottom and just the tips of their toes would be sticking out of the hole. Then that makes them feel secure. But I can also check up on them easily that way because I do worry a lot about my spiders um, if I can't see them. Like Athena, who is constantly in her hide, and the way her hide is set up, I don't know why I set it up like that, but I can't see inside because her water dish blocks it. So I can't get like a flashlight and see inside of there. Um, so yeah, I just feel more comfortable when I can see the spider, at least just to know that they're not in like a death curl, just to see the tips of her toes. So I think I'm thinking about getting her something like this and filling it up so she can have a lot of room to roam. Also when my LPs get big, which is gonna be years and years and years, cause, well not years and years and years, but long enough that I will be out of this small apartment um, when my LPs get big, I think this is just like a perfect size enclosure, this 20 quart Sterilite container. So if you guys are looking for something cool like that, I don't know, I just thought that made a really cool container. Um, so anyway, yeah, I am going to put the scorpions back up on their shelf. Um, and I am going to head to bed. Um, like I said, I will publish the video of the question and answer with David tomorrow so you guys can see that which I am super stoked about you guys seeing that because it's gonna be really cool I'm watching my tree fog he keeps jumping at the enclosure because he's trying to catch his cricket so he's jumping all over and I keep hearing thud, thud, thud. anyway yeah um so I am going to head to bed I just fed every fed everybody I'll probably go through and feed the slings again tomorrow um and I will see you guys tomorrow well you'll see me but I will have that video pre-made. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.